1550 AD, year 20 of the reign of King Tabin Shweti. I am the chief minister of a kingdom without a king. The man from Portugal has corrupted King Tabin Shweti. My lord has taken to drinking and forgotten both the ways of Buddhism and the blessings of the Nats. He lives with the foreigner for weeks at a time on long, wine-filled hunting trips. Even when he is in court, the king orders executions in drunken fits. Many of the kingdom's officials have pleaded with me to depose the king and rule Burma justly. But though I love my country, I cannot betray my brother. I should have known rebellion would come. A monk named Thor, brother of the dead Hantawari king, incites a revolt in the south. The king is leaving on yet another hunting trip, but he has ordered me to take the army to defeat this rebel. I will follow my king's instructions, but I am concerned. A minister named Sautot is eager to see me leave. I do not know what trouble he has brewing. The king has been murdered. We must have find out that his brother is dead. Only he will rule Burma justly.
到抓你吧，慢慢吧。
Hey. Hoop low life. Hoop up. Just not low life. Chief Minister.
Oke, selalu gitu mah. Oke, selalu gitu mah.
Thank you. 
paid two swordsmen of the king's bodyguard to enter my brother's tent as he slept. Their pockets heavy with the traitor's gold, they drew their swords and beheaded my brother. His body was found by a monk and quietly cremated. I would throw away this crown if it brought my brother back, but he is among the nuts now. The nuts were tricky, just as my mother told me. They took my brother from me. I should not be king. I should not be the Chakavati. But the nuts made it so. I reject them. <laughs>